Okay, now just like the other type of transformation, the translation, where we did two translations, we're going to do two reflections. Not only are we going to reflect over the x-axis or the y-axis, we are going to reflect over both of them and see what happens, okay? So remember from the previous video that when we reflect over the x-axis, the uh, y value gets negated. And when we reflect over the y-axis, the x value gets negated. X value negated. Okay, you check out the previous videos to clarify that if you have questions. Okay, so what happens when we do both? Well, it would make sense that if we do both, um, if we have anything, you know, um, like an x and a y coordinate, if we reflect over both, what will happen is that we will end up with a negative x and a negative y because each when we rotate over the, sorry, when we reflect over the x-axis, our y will become negative. When we reflect over the y-axis, our x will be negative. Okay, this is just symbolically, this is what should happen. Let's see if it does. Okay, so let's do it this way first. It doesn't matter which side you do it either. Uh, so, okay, so there we go. That's one. And now we're going to reflect over the x-axis. And our new point is 1, 2, 3, negative, so a prime, three, negative 3, and a negative 2. Okay, how does this relate to where we started with? Um, it is perfect. Our 3 became negative, and our 2 became negative. So we can almost kind of put that in our back pocket as, as something that uh, we can remember forever. When we reflect over both axes, one then the other, both terms get negated, okay? Notebook material. Okay, now uh, what if we did it the other way? See, so we did the y-axis first, then the x-axis. Just like the other, other kind we did in the other video, let's, if we rotate over, or sorry, if we reflect over this axis there, and then reflect over this axis here, we end up at the same point anyway. So it wouldn't matter if we reflected over uh, the x first or the y first. It doesn't matter. We get there. And again, if we're doing a whole uh, shape, for example, um, it doesn't matter. Oh, well, this is going to be a tough one to draw. Okay? There's a reflection, and then there is the second reflection. Okay? Oh, boy. Okay? The whole shape, every, every point would be, it doesn't matter what this point would be. For example, what if this point was, uh, you know, something crazy like, um, I don't know, happy face, that's a kind of a mean face, happy face, comma, um, the letter pi, which is Greek symbol. Well, guess what? This one here, A prime here, if that's just this point here, this point here would be negative happy face, negative pi. See, it doesn't really matter what they are. We just need to know that they become negative of what they were. And again, if you're moving them back this way, this is the same as negative, negative half of these, and negative, negative. And negative, negative means plus. Okay? So review the previous videos if, that, if you need a little hang of that. Okay?